in a, okay, in a video, you, you shared that you like people to ask uh, why the pain instead of why the suicide. Like, I found that very, like it struck me, la. it struck me that, that really struck me. Could you elaborate a little bit more about, about that? Um, yeah, because I, I, I feel that uh, people always judge the act. Mm. Why suicide, you know? Uh, when they hear a case, you know, they'll ask why, you know? Mm. They'll say things like, oh, you know, he comes yeah. from a very well-to-do family. Why? Yeah, you know? yeah. Uh, what's the reason? There's no reason for him to, to actually do it, mm. right? Uh, but not knowing the family history, you know, the dynamics of the family and all that, we mm. don't know. So uh, a lot of people tend to, to sort of be judgmental uh, with the act itself. Um, so, but not understanding the pain. Because mm. my son, uh, in his suicide note, uh, he was always talking about ending the pain. He was, never talk he was never talking about ending his life. It was ending mm. the pain. Um, in my talk uh, called Delving into the Mind of a Suicidal Person, I actually give an analogy of, uh, you know, someone who uh, is, who is just, uh, who, who's caught in, in, in a burning building, okay. you know, in, 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 on 9-11. Sure. And someone who is in depression, uh, they both actually have one thing in common, which is it's a dilemma they're going through. Uh, because if you if you describe or define dilemma, the dilemma is defined as uh, mm. being in a situation where you have to make a choice uh, among you know two or three uh, alternatives, yeah. uh, all of which are undesirable. Mm. So in a case of, of someone who is in a burning building, uh, why do they jump out? I mean, on 9-11, 200 people jumped out. Why do they jump? Right, because they couldn't bear the pain of being burned to death, right? right. Both, you know, whether you jump or you remain in the building, the result is death. So in the same way, the dilemma faced by someone in depression who is suicidal is the, the torment and the torture they go through day in, day out, right? Mm -hmm. And it was always feels like it's never ending, yeah. right? Uh, so they, they feel that, yeah, I must well, I, I, I don't want to have to go through this. Mm -hmm. So I just want to end my pain. Yeah. And suicide is like the only option left to them at that mm -hmm. point in time. So if you think about it, it's really about the pain. Yeah. And it's not about the act. It's sure. really to end the pain. So okay. that's why I, you know, I say, don't ask why suicide, but ask why the pain. I, I resonate with that so much. Like people always, I mean, I guess it's human nature that we take shortcuts and we don't want to take the effort to understand what people are going through. But for someone to, imagine like for someone to like go against their physiology to end their life, right? It must be in so much pain and devastation both mentally maybe physically um, so I think we really need to understand and, and empathize with that situation and not just look at it and just label it you know that that is uh, we can't do that we can't do that society we need to move forward to be more inclusive and empathetic yeah yeah in, in 